Hey guys, this is Cameron from jazzham.com and today we'll be reviewing the Rolex Datejust 36 reference number 116200. We'll be going over the dial, bezel, case, crown, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Okay, so as of February 2018, you can get the base model of this watch from an authorized Rolex retailer from, for $6,600 plus tax. However, this is a custom model that we've been made for a customer and specifically by custom what we mean is we've only changed out the bezel for this beautiful one carat diamond bezel. Uh, the standard model for the 116200 does just, uh, does just have a regular domed, uh, domed bezel that's nicely high polished. Uh, but specifically this is something we do for uh, custom orders for our customers where we can replace the bezel with a beautiful diamond bezel. Of course, the pricing for that is on our website at jazzham.com. So take a look at that and give us a call if you have any questions. Okay, moving on to the dial now. So the specific dial configuration I have in my hand is a silver dial with a floral patterning, which is very unique to the Datejust models. Um, it's just very basic floral patterning in the background, as you can see that beautiful pattern in the background. We just have the simple hour marker landmarks of so the six and the nine in Arabic numerals, and those are that's fashioned in 18 karat white gold to prevent any tarnishing. Same can be said as for the hands as well. You can see I just high polish on the hands for the hour, minute, and seconds hand. At the 12 o'clock position, we have the Rolex Crown logo. Uh, Rolex Crown logo also fashioned in 18 karat white gold. At the 3 o'clock position, as with all Datejust models, we have the date window with a cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for easier viewing and mag uh, magnification and easier viewing of that date. Okay, so let's watch excellent, excellent viewability because it's just very simple landmarks and just very beautiful, gorgeous dial. However, if you don't like the silver dial, the, the silver floor patterning, the date just always has numerous different configurations you can have. Uh, you can have to find the right fit for you. So for the floral, you can also get it in a pink or brown dial color. If you're looking for just Arabic numerals all around the hour, uh, for all the hour markers, you can get that in a black dial or you can get it in a silver dial with a special blue colored Arabic numerals. However, if you're just like very a very basic date just and you're not looking uh, looking for anything fancy, you can go with the index or Roman numerals, uh, and that can come in the silver, white, black, blue, or pink dial colors. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on to the bezel. As I mentioned before, this is a custom, uh, custom added on bezel uh, that we've that we made for a customer. This is a one carat uh, one carat weight bezel. As you can see, absolutely gorgeous as the diamonds catch the light. Okay. Moving on to the case now. The case, nicely high polished on the lugs of the case, matching very beautifully with the uh, circle of diamonds with, and also the high polishing from the hands as well. You have that nice patterning all the way down to the sides of the, um, to the bottom lugs. And even on the side of the case, we have that nice high polish as well. As you can see, nice high, uh, nice high polish right underneath the bezel to continue that pattern of bringing much more shine to the face of the watch. So the, as the name states, it is a Datejust 36. So from an index finger to my thumb here, you're looking at a 36 millimeter in diameter watch. As again, I'll show you once more, the side profile, not too high, will fit under suit, cuss dress cuss very nicely, very easily. On the other side of the case, nice high polish once more, patterning with that bracelet, Rolex crown logo on the crown itself. The crown is a screw down, trip locked, uh, uh, rather double, uh, Sorry, twin lock and double waterproofness system that gives this watch this day just a water resistance of 100 meters and 330 feet, only when the crown is nice and tight in against the case. Unwinding the crown counterclockwise will allow, uh, set you in the standard position in which you can wind the watch going clockwise. 15 to 20 winds is all you need to get the watch started uh, once more. A simple tugging of the crown will allow you to adjust the date. As uh, shown, you can see very easy, very quick, instantaneous changing of the date. And the final tug of the crown will stop the seconds hand and allow you to set the time however you like. Of course, stopping the seconds hand does uh, allows for precise time settings such as an atomic clock online. You can set it down to the exact seconds for precise timekeeping. Pressing the crown in once more, you see the second hand starts again. And like I said, always make sure crown nice and, nice and tight in against the case. You keep that water resistant and you keep the crown nice and protected. 
All right, let's go ahead and move on to the bracelet now. Bracelet made out of beautiful 904 steel, which is a Rolex in-house made steel that has additional corrosion resistance, but a little more shine to it as well. And it's a, the bracelet specific bracelet we have is Rolex's oyster style bracelet, which is a three piece link bracelet. Nice satin finish at the outer of the three piece links with a high polish down the center. As this is a dress watch, you can see very, very beautiful shine throughout the whole bracelet because of that high polish and the contrasting of it really, contrasting of the satin finish to that high polish really brings more out of that high High polish. The class is located here. It's just a very simple folding oyster class as shown, which opens up to reveal this nicely high polished class blades with the Rolex name embossed on there. All right, so once more, I'll show you the bracelet. This is how it looks closed and how it looks opened. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the movement now. So the movement is housed in this oyster case backing. It's Rolex's perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. It's one of their tried and tested movements. It's their movement that they've used for over 30 years now. It's their caliber 3135 movement uh, that's also used in such watches as the Submariner, the Sea Dweller, the Deep, the deep Sea, all of Rolex sports pieces, and also some of their Datejust models. And that movement is that movement keeps that precision that Swiss and Swiss specs, which is the minus two plus two seconds a day. And the functions of the movement itself is just the center hour, the hour, minute, and second hand with the instantaneous changing of the date and stopping in a second hand as I've shown you with the crown functions. The oscillator for this watch is a paramagnetic blue paracomb hairspring, which adds additional resistance against magnetism. And the power reserve of this watch is 48 hours, meaning you can put this watch down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Sunday afternoon, and it'll be keeping time just fine. Okay, so let me actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist. Once again, here's a folding oyster class. Opens up as so, and there we are. Okay, so there's the watch on my wrist. Diamond's absolutely gorgeous, adding on to that nice flare of the watch. That shine really all, all matching together. And once again, I just wanted to mention that the only thing that has been changed on the watch is just the bezel to have that diamond, that beautiful diamond bezel. Nothing else on the watch has been touched. Okay. And there's a bracelet throughout, nice high polish. So if you're interested in this model or any other model for the lowest possible price, check out our website at jazzham.com. We have the lowest prices guaranteed and we offer a one year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.